Right, this is going to be a brief video on explaining five-axis toolpath linearization. Toolpath linearization is something that we use in G-code programming for simultaneous movement. It's not really something that we see in conversational because we don't have that simultaneous five-axis movement. But it is, it's a G43.4, and it's a way that we can control the tooltip as it moves through rotations. If we look here, this example is on a swivel head machine, but this would also apply if the tool, the part was tilting on a regular trunnion style machine. But without toolpath linearization, if we look at that top um, little image there, we see that the only two points in this program move that we can control the tool is at the beginning and the end. Everything that happens in between is a blind rotation, and it's just going to be positioning from the first location to the second location, and if we gouge the part, then that is something that we can't control. Without linearization, what we would do is we would break that move that we're showing in that image up into very many small moves where we're moving, move, we'd raise Z, we'd move a little, we'd raise Z, we'd move, move the uh, tool a little bit, raise Z, come back down, whatever. So we would have to control that with very, very small movements, which is going to make the program very large. With toolpath linearization on, it's going to do exactly what it says. It's going to linearize the toolpath from point A to point B. If you look at the image there, we're going from the left side at about a 30 degree tilt to the right side of the part about a 30 degree tilt in the other direction, and you can see that it knows to raise the Z and then drop the Z back down, so we're controlling that tooltip. Here's another example of moving kind of through a, a simultaneous type path we would see. The other one was, the first image was pretty drastic. This is a little bit more realistic in what we would see. We're going from P1 to P2, and as we get there, we have those different points in between. Without linearization, you can see the red movement there. It's just going to move from point to point, gouging the part. And if we have the linearization on, it's going to follow that green line. So it won't be that blind rotation. I've got two little videos here. This first one is going to show a tool path without linearization. And you're going to see that the tool is going to move to the front corner of the part or the edge. It's then going to rotate to the commanded rotation, gouging the part. But the tool tip will be in the correct location at the beginning and the end of the move. But it's gouging the part very badly. So if we watch this run here, come down to the edge of the part. It begins to rotate. We're not controlling the tip of the tool until we get to the end of the movement. And you can see that it's digging into or gouging that part very, very drastically. If we go to the same programmed move with linearization turned on, you can see that it's going to go to the edge. It's going to rotate correctly into position, go over, come back up and then it's going to end. So we're eliminating that gouge because we're controlling the tooltip throughout the entire movement of the programmed path.